Xi'an is one of the world's most historically influential cities, just as the capital of 13 dynasties, including the Qin, first Imperial Chinese dynasty. To make the most of our Xi'an trip, we're spending our first full afternoon to learn about the history of the city at the Xi'an Museum. Actually, we wanted to go to the Shanxi History Museum, but just couldn't get tickets. Um, I'm sure Xi'an Museum has lots to see. I'm expecting hours of walking and standing, so we're gonna fill up first. Our view consists of this three piece set. Make me the three chin set. Yes, it's the same chin as Qin Dynasty mentioned just now. The three chin set with a triangle offense, the Rou Jia Mo would definitely be Michael Jordan. It's so famous. It has its own Romanized name, Rogamo, as I explained in a year ago video. But it's better known abroad as a Chinese hamburger. Although, for the thought, perhaps the burger should be called Western Rogamo. Recently, I've been talking a lot about Mo as in flatbread. This is also a Mo, the same fresh out of the oven. See the beautifully charred crust and notice how it's packed but it hasn't cracked testament to more quality and the chef's skill in slitting the more impeccably in the old video uh, i talked about different kinds of more for well, rojang more but i didn't talk much about rojang as in meat the standard meat here is a mixture of fatty and lean pork. You can pay a few extra yuan for lean pork only. Put those on the table. But what this is, is something special. It's called Xi Shou, um, a combination of pork skin and lean pork. The great thing about rou jiang mo is its versatility, much like the burger. The roe could be other kinds of roe, like cured beef or um, skewered meat. The filling doesn't even have to be roe, it can be vegetarian, like uh, potato slices or scorched rice. But I prefer braised pork, it's the original. How original? This kind of pork already existed. Uh, around Zhou Dynasty, yeah, way before the burger patty. This food is quite historic as well. The liang pi, usually translated as cold skin noodles, uh, supposedly it evolved from a Tang Dynasty food called lang tao. This is how Scotty was indispensable to MJ. The cold skin is irreplaceable and popular even in cold winters. It is served cold, but the skin doesn't contain animal product. It's basically a gut solution, um, laid out thin, steamed, like cold, and chopped into noodles. The plain strands themselves might look a little bland and taste a little bland, but once you add the condiments like sesame sauce and chili oil, and the colors and flavors enliven everything. And your French or thirst? Here's the first quencher. The logo sort of ice peak. It's a sort of low player. Just like Dan Rodman or Horace Grant. This is getting as much attention as part of the equation. Here's a little something off the bench. Qin Zhen Mi Pi, uh, literally rice skin of Qin Tang. It is similar to the uh, Liang Pi, uh, but made with rice milk. It is even more similar to the cold version of uh, Mian Pi of Han Zhong. I've had countless bowls of uh, Han Zhong Mian Pi, so I've long been intrigued by Qin Zhen Mian Pi. I've never been to Qin Tang, but the owner here hails from Xi'an's Hu County, where Qin Tang is located. So I'm guessing uh, this should be. Pretty authentic. So, the 
Nikki of Hanjong is usually eaten hot. Um, there's also a cold version that is relatively less popular. Um, this is um, also served cold or room temperature, much like the uh, liang ji. Of course, you know they are tasty in different ways. My first ever meal in Hanjong over a decade ago was um, rou jia mo and mian pi. So I long dreamt of trying rou jia mo with mian pi, and now my dream has been fulfilled. This is um, the main reason I chose this sort of out of the way uh, restaurant because most other Roja Mo eateries don't serve PP, at least as far as I can tell from online photos of menus of places like Zhu Lu Chang Di or Wang Hui or Fan Ji or Qin Yu. Or maybe we'll try those rents later. Not now. Now we are pretty full. We filled up for our history lesson at the CI Museum.西安博物院虽然是闪利博的替补但出乎意料的好逛俗话说没对比就没伤害不知道闪利博有多厉害反正我们在这看得很嗨有另外一只俗话说地上看山西地下看陕西所以有人开玩笑西安地铁是考古队